score at the half is Iowa 35, Tampa Bay 20. Well, we've reached the time in this game where the folks have come out to see their hometown hero who's made it big. Tonight, Kurt Warner's return to Iowa where his barnstormer jersey is going to be raised to the Raptors in the barn. Let's take a look. For the special jersey retirement ceremony, Jim Foster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great privilege to be able to do what we're about to do. I'm happy to have with me the commissioner of the Arena Football League, David Baker, the fine governor of the state of Iowa, Tom Vilsack, and a very fine two-time head coach of the year, John Gregory. Everybody knows why we're here. This young man from Iowa electrified this state as an Iowa barnstormer after a good career at UNI, but here he found his stride. Tonight we present Kurt with a retirement of his jersey in honor primarily of what he did as an Iowa barnstormer because he brought this franchise to the forefront of the Arena Football League with two championship runs. And we thank him for what he did then. We salute him for what he's doing now in the National Football League, both on and off the field as both a good Christian, a good father, and a great football player. At this time, Governor Vilsack would like to say a word on behalf of the great state of Iowa and its citizens to one of its finest, finest citizens, Kurt Warner. Kurt, you are a man of uh, great faith, a great family man. You are a credit to your family, to your team, to your community, and to your home state. We are so proud of you. We are happy you're home. You can are welcome back anytime. And now, the biggest commissioner in all professional sports who's working on making this one of the biggest leagues in professional sports when the NFL gets involved. Okay, great. Kurt, on behalf of all of us in the Arena Football League, we want you to know how proud of we are of you that you are a barnstormer first and a Super Bowl champion to boot. Thanks for being here. Kurt Warner. A lot of people get credit for what Kurt Warner's done, and it starts with Kurt. But there's no question, and I think he'll tell you, that this guy here, this feisty coach, taught him an awful lot about the game that he took to the NFL with him, and you see it every time they play now. John? Thanks a lot. Congratulations, Kurt and Brenda. Just keep throwing those hots, partner. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, now we're going to drop it here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Barnstormer fans home and on TV and here with us tonight. At this time, we would like to officially retire the first professional football jersey in the history of the state, the first Barnstormer jersey, number 13, Houdini. Kurt Warner will never be worn again. I turn your attention in the spotlights to the west end of the field. Can we get the spotlights up there. Spotlights to the west end, please. Do we have the spots over the west end? Look at that. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It looks pretty good up there. I tell you what, there's no place like the barn. <laughs> I tell you what, I've had some great memories here. And, uh, you know, first of all, as always, I got to thank my Lord and Savior up above because he's blessed me beyond anything that, uh, thank you. He's blessed me and my family beyond uh, anything that one man deserves in a lifetime. And, uh, I have to thank all of you guys and everybody involved with the Barnstormers because obviously it all started here. When I was back bagging groceries, nobody knew what I was going to do next.
But I was given an opportunity by an organization and in a state that I love, and I was born and raised, an opportunity to do something that I love to do. And I came out here every day with a lot of pride because I knew this was a great game, and I knew we had the best fans in the game, and I was going to continue to play as long as I could. And thanks to Arena Football and all the guys that I played with, the coaches, the owners, I got another opportunity. I got an opportunity to fulfill a dream of mine. And I'm proud to be a part of Arena Football, and I hope I can be a great spokesman and hopefully get a lot of other guys a chance to do what I've done at the national football level. But I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for all the support that, that you've given me, not only when I was playing with the Barnstormers before that, and even now that I'm with the Rams. I always got the greatest people, it's got the greatest fans, and I love coming back here, and my heart will always be a Barnstormer. God bless y'all.